So the big problem with spina bifida is twofold. One is the, or I should say, the big problems with spina bifida. There are two of them. One is that the spinal cord is open, and that's uh, that causes problems with how the spinal cord functions. We we can't fix that right now because that process happens so early. The second problem that occurs, though, is when you have a part of the nervous system which is open, in other words, open to the outside world, it's particularly vulnerable to infection. And normally the skin covers our internal organs and protects us from infection. However, in spina bifida, when the spinal cord is open, if we don't treat it, a large number of those kids are going to develop infections of the nervous system, which is meningitis, and will die from that. So the, the primary goal of surgery after a normal term delivery is to actually cover, repa you know, reconstitute the spinal cord. That doesn't restore the function, though. Return it to a normal position and then close as many layers of the body as we can over it to prevent further infection. Spina bifida, even though it affects the lower part of the spinal cord, it has effects elsewhere in the brain as well. Now, if you look just at the spinal cord, in general, what the, the effects that it has on the baby are that the muscles and other parts of the lower extremities that are supplied by the spinal cord generally do not function. Now, that lack of function can sometimes be severe or completely absent, or it can be mild, and that's what's very hard to predict because sometimes, depending where the spina bifida level is, you will have function below that, but it might be impaired. The other things that are severely affected in almost all kids with spina bifida are the involuntary muscles that control sphincter control, so things like control of bowel function, bladder function. And both of those can be and are often severely affected. The failure of the spinal cord to form properly also, however, has a couple of other major effects on the actual function of the brain. One is that the back part of the brain, what's called the cerebellum, can often assume a much lower position extending down into the upper part of the neck. And that's called a Chiari malformation. And that can produce symptoms in a lot of kids. Um, the second other uh, problem that it can cause, the major one that we see, is hydrocephalus, where the normal circulation of fluid in and around the brain is negatively affected. The fluid builds up, causes pressure on the brain, and has to be also treated. So there's a, this, the open spinal cord is one problem, but it has a number of additional problems that it causes in the brain, and, uh, brain higher up uh, that can also affect the child.